Hello, and welcome to yet another exciting episode of What's Hot with Scott. At least I am excited about it. I hope you are too. For all you people who join me during this time where we discuss uh, residential home remodeling. So I'm Scott Rajivori with Titus Contracting. We're a residential and commercial remodeling company in the Twin City area of uh, Minnesota, the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. We love what we do. We love talking about it. And today, we're going to try to talk about it without any technical difficulty. Now, if you're watching me and the video isn't working right or you can't hear me for some reason, well, you can't, if you can't hear me, you can't send me anything. So I guess you couldn't tell me if, I'm, if, if it's working. So if you can't hear me, uh, <laughs> I'm out of luck. If for some reason the video is crazy, let me know. I've been struggling. So we're much better at remodeling than we are at technology. So uh, unless it's in, involved with, with uh, building, then we know a lot about technology. So today I'm talking about something near and dear to my heart. I'm going to thank my friend, and I hope he listens uh, John Thor, I was talking to him at church, and he said, Scott, how come you did not talk about the idea I sent in cigar and wine rooms in your home? So at one point in time a while back, I did talk a bit about uh, wine cellars, but I'm going to talk only about uh, cigar rooms and wine cellars in this episode. So perhaps this isn't of interest to you, but it is kind of a cool thing. Um, it is unique. And it's a wonderful thing to have in your home because we know here in Minnesota this last year was difficult on cigar smokers because Jen says, thank you very much. You can hear me. So it's working. Good. Ah, train of thought. Okay. Oh, cold. It was cold here. So if you're a cigar smoker, and, and I smoke cigars occasionally, not so often, but I do love a good cigar. If you got to go outside, which everybody does unless you have a cigar room, it was cold, even in the garage. So... What helps with that? A wonderful, well-ventilated cigar room because we all know that it's not a good idea to be smoking cigars in your home because they do smell and they leave an odor for a long time. So that's what I'm going to touch on, that. And, and often when I've done cigar rooms, or I should say humidors and wine rooms, they're combined. So I'm going to say that I strongly suggest, um, or it's a good idea to somewhat separate the humidor and the wine area a little bit, but the conditions you want are very similar as far as humidity and temperature goes. So separate that. And then the important thing is obviously you don't want all your wine bottles taking on the odor of, of cigars. So a slight separation from your um, smoking area or wine tasting area, which is usually a combined area. They do the same. Could be a scotch tasting area for those who like scotch. I like scotch. Um, so separation. What's most important when you're doing a, a, a cigar uh, smoking room? Um, sealing that space and ventilation, it's huge. You, you, without it, you might as well not have the space. So I strongly suggest when you're doing a, um, a cigar smoking area that you use a foam insulation, spray foam insulation to insulate the whole space, even though it, it's not necessarily a temperature thing. I would do that. Jordan Schimmick, hello there. Just what you need to know is about a wine room and a a, a cigar smoking room. So you, you want to seal it with, with that uh, spray foam insulation that works well for the humidor and the wine area as well because it will maintain your temperature and save you some money on uh, when you're cooling that. Um, using acoustical sealants to seal all the bypasses uh, and whatnot. And then what's really important is um, your ventilation. So there's, there's um, th uh, so a few different ways you can go about this. And you want to calculate this all based on the the size of the room, um, cubic footage, and how many people are going to be in there. So typically a 10 by 12 room, which is plenty of space for three people to sit down and, and enjoy a cigar. Um, if it's just you, you need about 200 to 300 CFMs. That's cubic feet per minute of air movement. If it's going to be more than just you, you're going to need to up that, like three or four smokers. In order to really move the air and not have it get into your home, you're going to want about 900 CFMs. Now, that creates another problem. You need to bring air in because think about it. You're sucking all that air out. 900 cubic feet per minute is a lot of air. How are you replacing that? So you're probably going to need some type of makeup air. So you want to consider that. Uh, one way to deal with makeup air um, in a cigar lounge, and I'm just going to look here. I think I had, I can't remember if I had any um, brand names or not, but is putting in an air handling system. 
an air handling system similar to what you have in your house or in newer homes. So that will take out the, uh, the, the bad air and supply the new air. These are going to run a little bit more. You know, you can put a 900 CFM uh, fan in for, you know, $1,000, $1,500. Um, but then you got to get that makeup air. So you're going to be drawing air from your house potentially, which may allow the air to leak. An air handling system is going to run anywhere from three to $6,000, $7,000. But that could be tempered air too. So these are all things to consider. Um, I also suggest putting an air purifier in there. These are very inexpensive, typically $100 to $400. And that'll purify the air that, you're, that you've got in the cigar room. So those are some, some things on the cigar room as far as ventilation goes. Make them comfortable. I got a few pictures here. Um, glass is cool because then you can see in there. Um, here's one. That's actually cigar smoking room. Um, here's a combination a tasting room and wine cellar and cigar room. Now they've got everything. You can't see the cigars down below. Um, here's a little more, this is kind of cool, more rustic look. Yeah, European, old European feel. But there's so many things you can do to make a cigar room look cool. Um, we can work with you that. We'd love to work with you on that. But And then um, getting into the a wine cellar, and I'm going to try to wrap this up. I'm going long today, but I love talking about this. Um, the wine cellar, it needs a cooler. So there's, and, and the humidor. So it needs a cooler. So there's, there's three different ways to do this. There's the through wall system. Um, a through wall system is just that. Um, it comes through the wall. It, it's fairly easy to cool any space that you normally have in your house. Um, the systems run uh, from on the cheap side. This is going to be cheap and not a very good unit, maybe seven, eight hundred, up to three thousand. Typically, for a thousand to fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars, you can get a really nice unit, and it's all based on the size. Hello, Rachel Mix. Thanks for joining. It's all based on the size of your uh, room. So there are charts for that. Figure out your cu cubic footage and figure out what you need. A split, split system runs a little bit more. Um, this has got the, the unit outside. Uh, it's got a, a condenser like your air conditioner and evaporator. Um, quieter, lasts longer, just a better all-around system. But these are going to run like three to six thousand dollars. And then lastly there's a there's a ducted system. And these um, that's that. There's a duct coming in, a duct coming out. You might be able to, with a, a good mechanical contractor, figure out a way to tie in the um, the air exchanges you need for your 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 smoking area as well. But they're ducted. Takes out the hot air, drops in the cool air. Um, I am not going to go any longer. Uh, this has gone a long a long time, but it's a great thing to talk about. It's fun. If you need help with one, you need planning, you have questions, feel free to reach out to us through Facebook. Um, through our website, or you can call us at Titus Contracting here in Burnsville. Uh, we'd love to help you out, and thank you for joining. Sorry this was so quick, but so long. I couldn't get as much information as I like, but I'm going to let you go. Thanks for joining What's Hot with Scott. Have a great day.